Hi guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kyra and here on this channel, we just love our makeup. We love using our makeup. And one of the things that helps to get me reinvigorated and excited to use my makeup is creating my own palettes out of my single eyeshadow collection. You would have recently seen, and if not, I'll link it below, but I did do a small gentle declutter of my single eyeshadows recently. And I will be putting up pretty soon, I believe next week, my If I Could Only Keep Five Single Eyeshadows video. So keep on the lookout for that. Subscribe if you aren't already. And let's build a palette for summer. So I decided I wanted to build a palette of singles for summer and also include it in my No Pan Left Behind videos and updates because I have a goal this year to touch every eyeshadow I own and that includes single eyeshadows as well as palettes. So I thought not only would it refresh my makeup to create a palette for summer, but also I could work on and track the usage on those for my No Pan Left Behind, unless of course I've already used it in that capacity. So this is my empty palette I'm gonna be using. I can fit 12 Sydney Grace eyeshadows in here. So let's open everything up here. All right, so the first shade that I know I want to include without a doubt, 100% is this one right here. This is the shade Bronzed to Perfection, and it is stunning. All right, so this is 100% my favorite bronze eyeshadow in my collection. It's just so metallic and juicy. My watch is on the frets here. So that is what that shade looks like. And that is where I'm going to start my palette. I absolutely love an all over bronze look for summer or anytime, but especially for summer. Do you also think I want to include this one, which is apricot, I believe? Yes, this is apricot. I love a peach shadow for summer as well. And this is a peach with a really pretty golden flip to it. I love this shade. So I think I will include that and that'll also kind of cover my golden bases as well. I definitely think we should include some green in the palette as well as maybe some blue. And I can't decide yet what blue I want to do. Also, I'm really feeling this color right now. So let's start with a green or a couple of greens and go from there. This one is one of my favorite greens. I just don't know if it's too kind of like cool tone for summer. This is the shade Recruit. Ah! <laughs> and just like the other shades, back of my hand is super dry. So if they look textured, that's me, not the shadows. But look at that green, is that? Yeah, that is too good to be true <laughs> or too good not to include. So I'm gonna include that green. This shade is Magenta Dreams. And I just don't know if this is going to go with the rest of the palette, but I'd like to keep it in mind. Look at that. Oh, see, that is so pretty, but I just don't know how summery it feels, so I'm going to just kind of set this one, there we go, magneted to the edge. Um, I think one of these two blues could be fun. This is Dive and this is Red Chameleon. They're both stunning. Uh, Dive is a, a little more, what do I wanna say? It's not satin and it's not flat, but it's just a little bit different texture than some of these others. So there is, I'm gonna take my watch off. So there's Dive and here is Red Chameleon. Red Chameleon has just that, it has a red base with a teal reflect to it. I feel like Dive might be the better option. Let's put that in there 
for now. I was kind of thinking I might want to pull in Bailey's Bliss. And this is a very, very brightening shade. Um, it's kind of, it's got kind of a blue flip to it. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but I think it could be really beautiful for inner corner work or to maybe even pair with dive here. I don't know, but we'll put that one up there for now because that could be useful or I'm trying to think here if I have anything in my ColourPop palette that could say serve the same purpose. No, not really. Not really. That's the most like inner corner shade I have besides these three duochromes here. But I've had two of the three duochromes already come through my No Pan Left Behind. So I think we'll go with that. My other question is do I want to include this gold even though I have apricot? This is the shade Major and it's just a beautiful golden shadow. And looking at it, I don't think I need that one as well as the apricot shade. So I am cool with that. I think I will put the purple in. Wow, that's a strong magnet. Okay, <laughs> I think I'll put the purple in for now and then we'll see how we do with the mattes. The mattes, unfortunately, do not swatch very well. So, and I had to remove a lot of hard pan from them when I did my declutter and swatches and everything. So I don't think... I'm going to swatch those for you, but I'm going to swatch the shimmers that we have so far and then see kind of what feels like it's missing. I almost feel like maybe we should go with a brighter green. So let's swatch these three greens. I love the shade Recruit, but it just is a little dull, I feel like, for this palette it's kind of bringing the color down so these are the three br more bright greens and i kind of am liking the middle one all right so let's pull this out this is again recruit when you go back to your home and this is the shade escape so again that's that middle one there so let's add that into the mix. Bronze to Perfection, Apricot, Escape. They look like so far, and make sure we're dry here. Bronze to Perfection, Apricot, Escape. Just want to make sure you can fully see the gorgeousness <laughs> that is not a word. And then we have Dive, Bailey's Bliss, and Magenta Dreams. Look like so. Dive, Bailey's Bliss, and Magenta Dreams. Oh yeah. Okay, yes. <laughs> I am loving that color story and hopefully you can see here that little bit of a blue shifty business with Bailey's Bliss now that it's swatched out more fully. So yes, I am loving that. My only question is, do I want this rose gold here? I believe it's called... Now I don't want to guess. Blondie. Do we want that included? Ooh, yeah, that's kind of pretty. I don't know, though. I don't know if it really goes with the rest. So I'm going to skip it for now, and then we'll see. We'll let us talk mattes for a moment. Oh, actually, there was another thing I thought I might include. It's not a matte, but it is a satin. Oh. Goodness, I'm oopsie dropsy today. Okay, 
This is the shade Rover and it is a satin shade. And I feel like this might really nicely support or ground some of the looks that I could or might create with this palette. So let's put that one right here. Ooh, hmm, do we want that? It's either that or we could go with the green version, the green satin shade that I have, which is called Rustic. Same kind of satin formula, but it is a dark green instead. Oh, which do we like better? Let's see, cover up the green, cover up. Yeah, there's a the only thing about going with the green is it doesn't give me anything really to anchor with the magenta. But other than that, I could see using it, but maybe we do both. I don't know. Let's put them both in for now. And then we'll look at our mats. I think we're going to just kind of have to play around with the mats. So I think I'm going to throw in the shade Honesty here and the shade Peanut Butter. And if you can see here, I'm kind of like making trios this way, kind of. <laughs> I forgot I do have a satin purple as well, but I don't think I'll include that. I think I will also include possibly Iced Mocha and one more. Kind of want to include one of these up here move this over. I think I want to honestly pull in this one right here. This is the shade Seafoam. And I honestly think it could possibly work as an inner corner shade for, well, I don't know. Will it? Let's stick it in and see what we think. I also think um, Raspberry Chocolate Fudge would be pretty. I think I'm going to pull Mm, iced mocha back out and instead put in raspberry chocolate fudge move this one down here and put that one there yeah I like that I think that's going to do it so I am going to put on the rest of my makeup and then I'll see you on the flip side of the camera to create a look with this new palette. All right, welcome back to us both. <laughs> I have my base makeup on. I wanted to quickly mention the blush combo that I'm wearing and that is the new Maybelline Sun Kisser Liquid Blush. This is the shade Shades On and it's really beautiful but it's very sheer so i mixed it in with two of my say do blushes in rosy and spicy and i have this nice glowy sunburny look so i have eyeshadow primer on and that primer is set i have no idea <laughs> what i want to create i don't know i feel like i need to use this bronze so you guys can fully appreciate it and so maybe we'll go that way. So I'm gonna start with this matte in the transition and this matte here is called peanut butter. While Sydney Grace mattes do not swatch very well, they apply beautifully. I just love a good bronzy brown eye. I just think it's so beautiful. It's a go-to look for me. I have two other favorite bronze shadows in my collection besides this one. One is in the e.l.f. Pumpkin Pie Quad, a little bite-sized eyeshadow. There's a bronze in there. I actually pan on that one because it was my favorite before I had my Cindy Grace singles. And then the other one is the brown shade or the bronze shade in the Dior Universal Glow Kit. It's, you know, 
it's not something that I wear on the face, but I wear it on the eyes all of the time. I'm wondering if we should go in with a little bit of this other matte here, which is called Honesty. Not as familiar with the mattes as I am with the shimmers that I own. And that's part of why I would like to do this kind of on a seasonal basis, build a palette and work through them. So this Honesty shade is kind of like a, a warm pink and it's working nicely to blend out the shade Peanut Butter. And then I'm gonna take some of Peanut Butter on my favorite lower lash line brush and just kind of buff that out under the eye as well. Even though some people would say, you know, putting eyeshadow on the lower lash line closes off the eyes, I feel like sometimes it can open up the eyes as well. So I think to anchor the look, I'm gonna put a little bit of the dark green here, which was called Rustic. Let me use a angled fluffy brush to do that, this is a satin shadow, so it will lay down really easily and beautifully. And this can kind of be our outer corner shade, but we can also blend it up into the crease. So then I'm gonna go back to my crease brush and just blend the edges and into the crease area. If you're trying to expose your crease to blend, lean your head back. <laughs> And that is what will naturally happen as you look into your mirror. I think I will take just a tiny bit of that same satin green on this really small liner brush here. And I'm gonna take this on just like the outer third of the lower lash line, just so the upstairs and downstairs are connected. Now for the good stuff, going into this shade here, which is bronzed to perfection. Are you ready for this? I don't think you are. Just one dip into the pan and even tapped off. Look at that. So good. Like I said, this was definitely the shadow that I knew I wanted to include in my summer palette and it could quite possibly get included in a fall palette too but like I said I kind of want to try and work through some of my singles this way by creating custom palettes for seasonal use. I really like it paired with that deep green. I'm gonna take my brush and just gently wipe. That tends to help smooth things out. I don't think I want to do Bailey's Bliss for an inner corner today, so I'm going to use my highlighter that I used today, which is my Becca Opal highlighter. I'm not going to show it to you because I have really good progress on it, and that update will be coming on the 1st of July, I believe. But that is what I'm using is Becca Opal for an inner corner. I love using this little tiny wispy brush for that. And then I think it'd be fun to play off of the green and tight line with this deep green liner from Believe Beauty. I only have this much left of it. So I am trying to just use it up. It is a little older in my collection. For the lower inner rim, I'm gonna use just a tiny bit of my ABH Highlighting Duo Pencil, and I'm using the matte side. And the trick with this is less is more. I want to gently brighten the waterline, but not to the point of being stark. So, I'm gonna pop off of here and do some mascara and pick out a lip, and then I'll be back to show you the completed look. All right, we are back and ready for a lip. I'm gonna use a couple of Project Pan items, of course. And I'm gonna start off with my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF2, very pretty. And then I'm also 
good well this is in my year-long project this is in my project 10 uses currently it's the Colfi heirloom satin lipstick and i have the shade called Cotty's kiss and i think it pairs really beautifully with the lip liner and then one thing i did yesterday it was really fun i can't officially recommend you do this because it's not quoted for the lips but i took the maybelline sun kisser blush here in shades on and picked a little up on the finger and it just gives this really pretty sort of bronzy glow and of course i will have pictures for you here of this look in natural lighting which is you know of course the lighting that people see us in day by day so this is the completed look let me know down below what shall we call this palette would you like to see more looks from this palette specifically like this or even in a short format I am really looking forward to playing with all of these this summer as well as checkity checking off my single eyeshadows from my No Pan Left Behind series. And also, what do we think of this look? What would you call this palette? I always like to ask. Leave your ideas down in the comments below. Does this strike you as an overly summer palette? I don't know that it does for me, but at the same time it does. I really love this little pop of this sea breezy kind of green shade. Looking forward to using Magenta Dreams. And of course, I was very excited to share one of my very favorite bronze eyeshadows with you. So let me know down below, what would you call this palette? Does it feel summer? And what do you think of today's look? And I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful makeup days. And I will see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye.